Hey guys, welcome to my very first Sims 4 speed build YouTube video. Um, I just came back from a trip from London and uh, went and visited some incredible palaces like you do in, uh, in the United Kingdom and I was really inspired um, after one of the last palaces I visited was Hampton Court Palace, um, which is a you know a famous palace that's been occupied by lots of different uh, monarchs, but um, probably most famously Henry VIII. Uh, it was later added to by some of the other sovereigns, uh, but I was really inspired by it, and I kind of wanted to really come. I wanted to come home and try building something like it um, here on Sims 4. So this palace, I knew a few things that I wanted it to be brick in the Georgian style um, with some white trim, and I knew that I wanted it to have courtyards. So I built out the uh, the footprint of the building here, and then I really wanted to just duplicate it. So you'll see that I, I didn't want to draw it all over again for the second and even third story. So I just created a room out of the whole thing and saved it to my to my library, and then added it as a separate room on top of the existing one. So that I doubled the the size of the palace really easily. And on the top, I added kind of a clock tower for the front facade. Well, it's not really a clock tower, but um, at Hampton Court, that's what they had. Um, and so I went ahead and did that. I was most inspired by the the newer part of, of the palace, which was built uh, by King William III. Um, it's kind of built in the Georgian style, which of course this one adopts. Um, and this is really interesting because when you're there, it doesn't even look the same as the, the palace that you entered at the front because you know, that was built during the Tudor age, and this was more of a Georgian style, so it's so different in styles, but they're all part of the same palace, so um, it was kind of interesting. So my plan in when playing this is to kind of think of it as a palace that my Sims can add to, um, each with their own different style when I, when I get to that point. I really went easy on the uh, windows. You'll see I only added a few custom windows, otherwise I used the whole add it to the room feature. I don't know what that's even called. Um, because the Georgian style is so symmetrical, it's easy to do that. Um, but I didn't want them to be all the same windows, so I did add a couple types of windows, but really not that many. I thought my roof on this palace would be very difficult, especially with all the outset windows that I added to the front, the back, and the courtyards. Um, but it really wasn't. I, I, you know, it's a simple. I put together a simple roof. I could have made it much more difficult, I guess. But um, it worked just fine. It was just several pieces, but those pieces were actually really easy to do. Um, I probably could have been a little more creative with that, but um, it actually ended up working for me. And you'll see that I forgot on the front by the front facade that I forgot the two <laughs> wings, um, two wings of the roof. But I do add those later. I didn't leave a whole lot of room for landscaping. <laughs> um, so you'll see that I kind of struggled to place, place much. I just added a few little touches um, of greenery to both the front and the back of the palace. And uh, I spent most of my time working on the courtyards because I knew that's where the Sims would spend a lot of time because um, they'll probably pass through the courtyards to get from one end to the other of the palace because uh, they seem to always just do whatever they want. Um, and I didn't have these courtyards perfectly symmetrical the way I wanted because I didn't count my walls out properly, um, but, I, but I liked it. Um, my initial plan was to have access to each courtyard from four different walls, but I instead went from the two facing each other to kind of make one long hallway without being a hallway, um, right through the, the courtyards. And I had to redo my, my steps to the front because I had picked the wrong brick. And I was kind of afraid that this brick would make it look too much like a school or a public building, and it, it kind of does, but I actually end up liking it at the end, but it does still finally look like a home as much as a palace can look like a home.
One thing about doing a house this symmetrical is that it's really easy to do once you kind of figure out where you want to place things. It's a lot of uh, matching. It's a little bit repetitive. That's the only downside is you kind of feel like, okay, I've already done this, but and, and it makes it very stately, which is what a palace should look like. When I get to the interior of the house, I'm, I know for sure that there's a few things that I want. I want there to be a king stateroom and a queen stateroom, um, meaning that there's almost two wings that are almost identical, but the only difference is the way that they're decorated and, um, and styled, that they'll match each of my sims that is currently the king and the queen. And um, But I know for sure that there will be you know, a guard's room and a drawing room and a throne room for each each the king and the queen. Um, then there will be some, you know, shared spaces like a like a royal chapel and uh, the kitchens, of course, and, and some of the banqueting rooms. Um, but that's 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 what I have in my head as far as as how I want to build the interiors of this house. Um, and that's what I like about these palaces is the exterior is very in this case is very uniform but the interior can totally be to taste of, of each of my sims. Like I said I didn't leave a whole lot of room for landscaping so it gets pretty basic in both the front and the back um, but it works really well. I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, I made a few small adjustments to some of the windows and noticed that I have these weird windows that didn't quite fit on these the sides of these um, outsets. Oh, I should have mentioned that I built this in um, Newcrest. Um, I really love that that world in The Sims, that neighborhood, because um, you can make it into anything you want. And I, I think I'm gonna turn this into a nice posh little village where all the nobility will live. <laughs> um, I really liked how this turned out. I'd love to hear how you think of it, um, and I hope you'll join me as I do the interiors as soon as I get that I'll upload it and um, it's a very symmetrical Georgian palace with beautiful courtyards um, so thanks for watching and um, make sure you subscribe <laughs>